So this is going back into the brew house kitchen area. There's a lot pretty tight back here and a lot goes on some kind of crunch for space. We've got our veterans wall here. We are a veteran owned brewery. A lot of the flags and shadow boxes have something to do with us. This one's my father's, he's a Vietnam veteran. This one here is my other uh, partner, Sean, and that's his grandfather. He was a World War II pilot. And then on the top is you know, one of my other partners, his uncle's in the Navy. That's a great thing. That's fantastic. I got one more old flag coming in still right like now. It would be actually my dad's brother passed away last year as an army, so my cousins are getting the flag and everything together so we'll get it up here on the wall. So the brew house will start back here, we'll walk past the kitchen. Careful in the water. This is sort of the grain storage area where we just keep all our grains and mixes. We've got a bunch of uh, specialty grains behind me. We try to use as much uh, local malt as we can for the West Branch Malts. It's a local Ohio maltster. Really good people up there. Uh, but when we do beers from around the world, we do have to get some of the imported grains. So we have all our specialty mixes here. We try to order as much as we need if the current recipe is coming up so we don't have a lot sitting around because we're really kind of crammed for some space. Now. Yep. Get it in, get it out. And we got our hot freezers, a play called chiller. We get into the blue house, it's a stout tank, seven barrel system, we're steam heated. Uh, right now we kind of got a lot of parts ripped off the tanks because the bridge just blew here yesterday. So tonight, uh, my other partner, Kenny, will come in and he'll do a full cleaning on them. So right now they're still all dusty and it looks like they were just brewed on. Just because they're being used. Yeah, we just essentially give them a really good rinse and scrub after the day. And then we will let them back come in the following day and do a good chemical cleaning on everything. I'll try to get all of them back from people. Yeah. This is great. What we, what we really wanted when we opened this we wanted a really good sized bar. A lot of breweries, I mean, they'll have a little small bar in there, but we wanted a good sized bar because most people like to sit at the bar and not everybody comes in a group. So we get a lot of the building workers, the workers from across the street, and they're here for lunch to just you know, come up real quick. Yeah, so uh, and when we first opened, we didn't have a kitchen. And we weren't allowed to do one here, and then after a few months, they kind of changed the rules around and then we were allowed to do a kitchen. So we sort of just shotgun opened one with whatever funding we had left over. With, you know, with our expansion, we're going to revamp the whole kitchen and get in the you know, make it a lot bigger. But we're doing, we're, start somewhere. Yeah, we're doing really good for what we're using, you know, what we got out of there. Everything we buy fresh, everything we sliced the morning before. So right, right here we got some outdoor uh, pool or uh, pinball machines, video games. Uh, you can bring your drinks out here, get away from some of the noise. Oh, us. so cool! We're gonna be getting a lot more games in uh, due to COVID. The game suppliers, not you know, of course not supplying the games. So we're waiting on getting a bunch more in. That is so cool. Yeah. That and eventually we're gonna get we preset these walls. We got a local artist that's gonna paint mural on this whole wall here. So we're waiting for him to we'll get back to doing what he's doing. This is gonna be so awesome once yeah. things open up. Parking lot, we're right next door to our chaise also, so we both have like common entrances here to the building. We also have another what's considered front entrance, which is right on the main street. So that would have probably been the entrance you came in. That's how I came in. So inside. We've got a pretty decent 
pretty decent sized tap room. It's right around about 4,500 square feet. Um, there's usually a lot more tables than we have here now, just due to COVID rules. We've got everything. Eventually, we're going to be working on getting a patio and a door to access outside here. Uh, it's probably not going to be this year. That's one of the plans that got delayed. Uh, we'd much rather expand the brewery than spend the money on the patio. And use beer. Yeah, and use the money to make more beer. So we're kind of sports themed here also. So we've got multiple televisions. We do all the games. We sponsor our soccer. Season. You bet. So that'll Let's work go out good. So right now we're hanging out with the Indians. They're about uh, half and half. They didn't give away all their players yet, almost. But they got two or three. Still. 